Hello guys, Luna here and welcome back to another God of War Ragnarok guide video. In this one I'm showing you how to get the awesome Hunter's Armor. One of the best armors in game if you want a pure strength build, as it increases both strength and cooldowns, but it does sacrifice some of your defense. Its unique ability empowered range, hold L2 for several seconds, grants a buff to all range attack damage for a short duration. The other armor pieces, the gauntlets and the bracers, they will also increase range damage to both attacks and abilities. So a great armor for high damage, but longer ranges. In order to craft this, you're going to have to get three items and complete three different missions, all of which are located in the crater area of Vanaheim, accessed by completing the Scent of Survival Favor, which you will get when playing the main story in Vanaheim. All you have to do is follow a creature and he will take you to the crater. Now, before doing anything in the crater, the first thing you can do is restore the water so you can travel about. I won't go over how to do this because there are dozens of guides already on YouTube for that. But once you have restored the water, we can get on with the guide and we need to first find and kill the Untamed Fury and she will appear in four different locations across the area. The first time she will attack is when you first enter into the sinkholes. Just immediately on the left, she will attack you and then you can damage her for a quarter of her health and then she will disappear. After this it won't be a while until you see her again you have to follow the sinkholes all the way through to the end while chasing the dragon and she will appear right at the end of it when you are next to the Narnir chest. So that will be the second time you can attack her. Once you've attacked her here you will have to go to the jungle area. As you enter the area go right and drop down to where the purple mist is. Once you get rid of the mist she will appear for a third time. But after you defeat her this time, she will drop a trail of blood, which you can follow to her fourth and final time. Even a huntress as ruthless as the untamed fury rests somewhere. We just have to find where. Follow the trail of blood and into her den, and then you can defeat her to get the item that you need for the armor, the Hunter's Band. And you actually need four in total, but you get two for defeating her. We've still got two to get, so the next thing you're going to do is head back to the plains and interact with the glowing animal located here on the map. Something is wrong with this kill. Dragons do not leave marks like these. Stay on guard. That's the mark of a soul eater. Yet another creature that shouldn't be in Vanaheim. Aye, let's keep a lookout for other kills. Soul eaters hide in plain sight. You need to follow the trail to find Soul Eater activity, and once that's done, you can find and defeat the Soul Eater to get the second band. And if you're looking for the Soul Eater, he moves around, he's just a glowing rock that's in the area. Lastly at night there are three wisps feeding on animals around the central area of the plains. They can be captured by using the R2 attack with your chaos blades on them and once that's done you can head to the sigil plate in the middle of the plains and you will face a flame phantom. Must be keeping it. There's a metal plate here with glowing runes everywhere. 
Do you think returning all the wisps to their springs did this? About that. They found a way to combine. We must destroy, destroy the five pillars to defeat the flame fandom, and this will give you your final hunter's band. You can now head to the blacksmith to craft your awesome armor pieces. Guys, that is it. How to get the unique hunter's armor in God of War Ragnarok. If you are looking for more weapons and armor guides for the game, subscribe, and I will see you next time.